So is there gonna be another stimulus check for Americans? So we are getting perilously close to the end of April. And you know what that means? It means that May is coming. And when May is coming, that means the next mortgage payment and the next rent payment is due. And while the government's first round of stimulus checks are just now reaching some Americans, there's already significant talk, and for good reason, considering the forced government shutdown of the economy, when is the government going to send Americans more money? What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the Average Joe on Money financial channel where we talk about all things personal finance that affect people like you and me the average Joe. So there is a ton of chatter out there around the next round of stimulus payments. Congress just recently passed the new bill in the last few days that extends funding for the Paycheck Protection Program for small businesses. But like I said, even though some people have not received $1,200 checks yet or $2,400 or however much your family is getting, the truth of the matter is we're already at the end of April, which means May is coming and there is still no formal word on whether or not we're opening up the economy on some level. So unfortunately, when the government says you shall not work, that means the government has to pony up. In a perfect world, I would love to see thousands of businesses out there and millions of Americans who already had an emergency fund set up that could totally weather this storm. But the truth of the matter is we're just not there as a nation. There are many people struggling financially. So let's talk about how likely it is that there's gonna be another stimulus check update based on what Democrats and Republicans are saying on Capitol Hill. From the Democrat perspective, you've got Speaker Nancy Pelosi out there talking about how she's guaranteeing both city and state funding in this next round of stimulus. You've got also guarantees that voting by mail is going to be funded through this next stimulus. And then just today on CNBC, Speaker Pelosi is talking about how universal basic guaranteed income is something they're going to have to look strongly at. Then again, you have Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden out there today railing against how this current stimulus is being handled and how the Obama administration did so much better and they spent so much less money and we should spend a whole lot more than the two trillion we already have. You have a lot of talk about increasing SNAP food nutritional assistance benefits by at least 15%. And that's just from the Democrat perspective. And then on the Republican side of things, you've got a lot of interesting things happening. You have President Trump out there advocating for and essentially promising that infrastructure is going to be a part of the next stimulus round. I'm not quite sure actually what that has to do with stimulus, but okay. You've got Senate Leader Mitch McConnell advocating for the fact that we're just absolutely not going to look at giving money to states and cities. And the argument by Republicans is that, well, we're not going to go and bail out cities and states that have poorly managed their finances previously. One of the things they cite specifically is pension mismanagement. It will be interesting to see how the two sides compromise on that specific subject. And of course, on the Democratic side, there's the general acknowledgement that, you know, we just need to send more money to Americans because well, they need money. I mean, on the Republican side of things, they just can't seem to get on the same page. You've got some Republicans that are hawks when it comes to fiscal conservatism, and I can appreciate that. And then you've got some that have always been historically big business, big spending. If you're going to be a fiscal conservative, then be fiscally conservative all the time, not just when it suits your interests. And likewise, if you tend to be big supporters of big, massive stimulus bills, don't then go say, well, well now we're worried about the deficit. Not really if you just passed $2 trillion in stimulus. So the whole point of this conversation is what is ultimately going to happen? Because as we get closer and closer to April 30th and we get closer and closer to mortgage payments and rent payments being missed, something's gonna have to give the mounting public pressure is going to force something to happen. They've already funded the Paycheck Protection Program to the tune of $660 billion. Whether or not that's included in this next stimulus for additional funding of that program, hard to say. Ultimately, they're gonna have to compromise on cities and states. My guess is the compromise is gonna center around, yes, we will fund cities and states, but the funds must be used exclusively to helping with this medical crisis we're dealing with. Voting by mail. Hard to say. It seems to be a big sticking point for Democrats and for the Republicans to get what they want. They may have to include that in the stimulus package as well. Payments to Americans. We talked about in a video yesterday about how there's already a plan being pushed out there by Democrats that would fund all Americans for $2,000 per month for at least six months and potentially up to 12 months. Whether we see a variation of that plan or not included in the next stimulus, hard to say. It's gonna depend on that price tag and whether or not Republicans are gonna sign off on that much additional spending. My guess is here, you're gonna see additional payments to Americans. It's just gonna be a lot less than $2,000 per month. So the thought process here is infrastructure does get included and this is where the compromise is probably going to happen. Yes, Democrats will allow a massive infrastructure bill for President Trump in exchange for those increased SNAP benefits, as well as some of that funding for vote by mail. But ultimately, it's, it's really too early to tell. While House Democrats 
say they are in the process currently right now of crafting that next stimulus bill. We just don't know what that looks like yet. As soon as we see that bill, of course, we will jump on YouTube and we will post the next video. Now is the time to leave your two cents in the comments below. What do you think is going to happen? And more specifically, what do you want to see happen? Do you want to see more payments to Americans? Do you want to see the economy open on some sort of restricted level to where we open it up layer by layer with additional restrictions on how we take care of ourselves? Make sure to leave your two cents in the comments below. If you haven't done it yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and click on that notification bell and click on all to be alerted to all of my weekly videos. I put out at least two to three videos every single week and with the recent stimulus changes on it seems like a day-to-day -day basis, I might include maybe three, four, or five videos every week, but make sure to click on that subscribe button below to be notified when I post those videos. The great news for you is even though this video is about to end, the learning does not have to stop. You can click on these videos right over there.